The following video presentation was recorded during an actual emergency event prior to 2002. Since this recording, many fire service SOPs and tactics have changed. There are no actors or staged events. See what we got. We got a pile of shredded car tires. What we decided to do was to try to use yeah, some ahead, some class A foam. That's yeah, the only thing we figured we could uh, use to put this fire out. So we started about, I guess, about two hours ago with the actual application. It burned for about a day, and now we're into the actual application. Now we got some work ahead of us. We're gonna try to get you guys in and out about four or five hours at a time so you won't be so wore out. If we do it like we hope to do it, it'll be a smooth operation. Guys will be working, some will be resting, and uh, when they get tired, we can work in as groups and get this process rolling along. Commander Distretti. When you're down there in that hole, those of you on 21, make sure you stay upwind of all that smoke, if at all possible. Got to have if your you mask get down in the smoke, you're going to have to have your air mask on. I want to make something real clear to every one of you here right now. Those of you, if your engine companies are pumping, when you return to quarters this evening, make sure your drivers purge those pumps real well. Every one of you, when you get back, you're going to need to take your turnouts off, wash them off real good. You will need to take showers. The representative here on this foam, he's told us that the foam itself is not toxic. If it does get on your skin, it should not bother you. You wash it off, if it gets in your eyes, you should be able to rinse it out. The foam will cause you no problem. What we're concerned about is the smoke and stuff off of these tires. You guys got any questions? Go ahead, Harvey. Everybody that goes back up into the pit, take a five gallon pail with you, two of them if you carry them. If you don't need them. Because we're using, we're using inductors. Uh, with the foam <coughs> concentration is at a half a percent. The problem we have is getting lines way back there. So what probably in all likelihood what we're going to do is use inch and a quarter hand lines and we're just going to walk it back there and try to knock that car down so that equipment can get that stuff moved out. This is tires? Is that all it is? Yeah. Which is place for? What they do is they supply fuel for the Allen steam plant. Trying to apply water, let it soak down through these tires try to knock some of the smoke down while on the other end of the fire situation trying to use a 1% foam concentrate to where it would hopefully seed into the fire. Engine 26, this is Hazmat 1. Go ahead and turn your big line into this hand line. And also coat the materials to where they won't uh, catch fire as easily as what these are doing right now. Engine 26, did you receive? Check, that will be designated truck 21. Check, 26. Oh, she can get water. Truck 21, we're up here working this because getting these uh, lines out. Okay, you're up there with operation. Check. All right, Donnie, you ready? Okay. Huh? Go ahead. Water coming in.
man in that line. You ready? You ready? Turn around, right over. Come on, help us, help us advance this line. Go, 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 go. All right, we only got 50 on this one. Okay. Just flip it over the top of you if you can, Wilson. Go ahead, Tom. Open it up. That's it. That's enough, Donna. Yeah, I think we're supposed to be here three to four hours. To knock down. It's hard to walk in, as you can see. You sink into it. And it's hard to get a hold of somebody, something for you to think not to scoot. You got it, right? Tell him to go to a more straight stream and come over here, just loft over the top, okay? What you trying to do? Trying to get it coated. Airlines this thing. Yeah. Our lines up a little bit. Let them come in and start pulling some more of this out. Just back your lines up. Go back out. Just back your line up here. You guys help them just back it this way. We want to keep it flowing. Uh, man, I'm the one up on top of the hill. This is Lieutenant George. Okay, Lieutenant George. Uh... We're going to have uh, engine 17 is going to start loading some phones, bring it to you. Check. Uh, uh, 218. Go ahead, Glenn. Uh, let your crew, a couple of your crew come over here and start, uh, start mixing this stuff, and uh, I'll get some people to help you tow it. Check. Races to truck 7. Hey, Lieutenant Barbrazen, don't get in that smoke now. We're not. Operations, this is Hazmat 1. If you got uh, some individuals that can shuttle us some more phones, cut already, it would be helpful. Jack, uh, we got some company coming up in there. Now, the companies that are on the scene have been here for approximately three and a half to four hours. We're going to swap them out for fresh people. They're going to take the point position up here closer to the fire. We're going to try to move them a little bit farther forward so we can maybe reach some of this uh, debris and stuff out there that we have not been able to reach with uh, the platform, truck three. Other than that, we're just in the, in the process of swapping out all the pumpers on, on the plugs and water supplies we have here just to get fresh people in on 